to La Babes Booktube channel. My name is Kaylen. Today we have an awesome special video. Today we are going to be doing a reading vlog slash mini review of Waffles and Pancake! Planetary Yum by Drew Brockington. The publishing company was so kind to reach out to me and also send me an ARC copy in exchange for my honest review. It's Saturday and Dad Cat surprises Waffle and his sister Pancake with a trip to the science museum in the big city. While there, they see extraordinary things such as Dinah cats, hairballs in 4D, and the planetarium. But as the kittens learn about constellations and Neil Pawstrong, they accidentally get separated from Dad Cat. Oh no! Will the kittens be able to find their possibly invisible Dad Cat? Or will they be stuck living in the museum, eating star tots and tuna melts? forever. This graphic novel is chock full of educational facts about space and perfect for young readers. Publication date is October 26, 2021, and by the time you're watching this, this should be out on shelves for you to go purchase. The age range is six to nine years old, and it is a whopping 56 pages long. Knowing me, we're gonna hop into some comfy clothes and get reading. Outfit change. Ah, much better. Let's get to it. <gasps> we are officially in my bed. We are cozy, we are comfy, we are ready to read Waffles and Pancake Planetary Yum. I'm so excited to start this book. And let's just read the first couple of pages. Let's just open up the book. This is already adorable. So chapter one, we have a big city science museum map. So we have the entrance and the exit, and then we have dino cats in the planetary and the hall of planets. And oh my goodness, look at how cute this is. Dino cats, that's all I need. That's all I need. Um, but it looks like the book is taking place on a Saturday because it says it's Saturday, hooray, no school today, wow. What a great day. <laughs> let's watch cartoons, let's wear pajamas all day. I mean, I could definitely get on board with that. And then in comes Dud Cut. So, uh, looks like they're gonna go to the big city. Oh my goodness, on page seven we get Welcome to the museum, and we get the dino cats! <laughs> um, we also get hairballs in 4D, like the back said, when hair or fur from grooming collects in the stomach, a hairball is formed. When the hairball gets too big, the cat might have to throw it up to get rid of it. Ew. <laughs> yeah, no. Their reaction right here is definitely what I'm thinking. Now we are at the planetarium portion where they are looking at the constellations and we have cats as the constellation. <laughs> I love how this theme of this entire book is just around cats and cats everything. This is so adorable. <laughs> Tuna melts, my favorite in Star Tots, those are my favorite. I myself love milk. I don't like milk, however, these little Star Tots, it makes me want to make Tater Tots in a star-shaped form. I need to have them in my life right now. Except for I do not like tuna melts. Tuna melts, nope, stars. Star Tots, yes, and then milk, ooh. And I think this is a, a an accurate representation of whenever I eat lunch or any sort of food, um, specifically fried cheese. <laughs> okay, so I have not read Castronauts before, but I did recently purchase it to read after this, and now we have a little Castronauts tribute. Now we are in the car. 
car heading home from the museum and we have my favorite part was the star tots at lunch which i wholeheartedly agree and then my favorite part was the tuna melt yum so they go to the museum and their favorite part was lunch <laughs> So what are my thoughts about waffles and pancake planetary yum? This book is absolutely adorable. So if you love Narwhal, those books by Ben Clanton, you will absolutely love this series. I cannot wait to pick up my copy of Castronauts because I'm excited to see where this story comes from and then kind of how it plays into this book. And I just love this book so much. It is so cute. Everything is kitteny. We get to go to the planetarium. You get to learn some awesome fun facts. So it's not only a fun, cute book for children, but it also has some good fun facts as well in it. Towards the end of the book, the dad turns invisible and whoosh, disappears. And so our main characters, Waffles and Pancake, have to find their dad and they ask someone for help. Their dad comes back. They're glad their dad isn't invisible. They go home. They talk about their favorite thing, which I figured the favorite thing would be like looking at the stars and learning about constellations and meteors. But no, it's the star tots, hands down. I absolutely loved and enjoyed this book. If I just want to gush and just keep smiling because this book is so adorable. So I highly recommend picking it up at a bookstore near you. I would rate this book four and a half out of five stars. And that's my review. Anywho, thanks for coming and reading Waffles and Pancake Planetary Yum with me today. Did you love this story as much as I did? Let me know in the comment section down below. I will also be leaving a link where you can go purchase this book online as well in the description box. Anyways, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time for a new bookish video.